Hey y'all, Sherry G. Welcome back to the channel. So look, there's a lot of concern about the ratings for Love and Marriage Huntsville. The first episode of this new season aired on last Saturday and the ratings had dropped significantly between then and the last season. This past episode showed ratings around 288,000 and allegedly there's like a $200,000, I'm sorry, about 200,000 viewers short of what it had been for the last episode of last season. So anyway, I do want to voice my opinions about what has happened um, to cause that to happen. But before I do, keep in mind that the views expressed in this video are all alleged of my opinion. Those who choose to comment down below in the comment section. And it's all for entertainment. So yes, the views have dropped significantly. And there's a lot of speculation going on, on about why. Now, we know that it's largely due to the blackout that happened last year. Fans, viewers were just over it. And we heard Mel mention, I think she was on Bondi Blues Live with, with the old ladies. And they did an interview with her. It was a wonderful, wonderful interview. But she mentioned in that interview that it had gotten heavy for the viewers. It had gotten heavy for the cast members too, from what I'm hearing. And that Carlos brought them all together and asked them if they could work to kind of change the narrative. So anyway, it, it was heavy. It was heavy because there was a lot of toxicity and it was from several castmates for several reasons. One of the reasons being that, in my opinion, the cast is unbalanced. You have all of the Scots and their family, and then there's Mel. Martel and Mel no longer together, so he's not on the side with Mel either. And so it's been that. Um, it's been all of the drama between Martel and Mel. It's been Martel's volatile actions, um, starting with, you know, the Vegas trip. But let's just be clear. It's not only what the viewers have seen on the show that have made it heavy. Well, before I even get into that, let me just say that it's heavy. It was heavy, heavy laden with toxicity. And that was a turnoff for a lot of viewers. And I feel that coming out of the pandemic is a part of the reason because the pandemic itself was so heavy and so depressing. And then we seen, we witnessed how ugly and mean people got, you know, on the internet, all of the cyber bullying. And so people were just over that type of behavior. And we did not expect that from this show because again, remember, we were told this show was going to be about Three couples, prominent black multimillionaires, revitalizing the city of Huntsville. They were about the business of building affordable housing, but their behavior didn't line up with what we all have in our minds as prominent black millionaires. So that was the first problem. And the second problem is we didn't see any revitalization going on at all. So given the fact that, um, things did change between the comeback group, given the fact that things did change between Martel and Mel with their divorce, we just didn't see anything that pointed to these people moving forward with their ideas of revitalizing the city of Huntsville, although they had to now rethink about how to do it. Of course, they couldn't do it together as a group anymore, but how are we gonna move forward? What other connections do we have to make this happen? What are the possibilities? We never even seen them sitting down talking about that, um, even though they were all on separate sides of the table. The only thing that we did see was in season one, I believe it was season one, when Melody and Martel bought that plot of land that they built the two houses on and they sold those two homes after they were built. So, um, 
And that was a part of revitalization, right? Now, I mean, that's the closest thing we've seen to it. And now we're going into year six. So not only was it heavy on the toxicity, it was heavy on the disappointment. But going back to what I was going to say prior to pointing out more of what was happening on the show as it relates to the heaviness, it's all of the things that we as viewers and fans seemed taking place in real time during the times when the show wasn't being aired. So during the downtime, the things with the mothers attacking castmates, the mothers talking about children and things like that, all of that type of action going back and forth, that was heavy. And all of that, although it didn't happen when the show was being aired, it does affect the show because it affects the characteristics of the castmates. It speaks to their characteristics. It speaks to the ca um, characteristics of those who may have just had cameo appearances on the show. It still affects the show and it still contributes to the heaviness that we've experienced. And even up until recently, recently we still have Stormy, you know, going back and forth, allegedly, and in the opinion of a whole lot of us, defending herself, um, going back and forth about her friendship with Mel, um, which really wasn't even a friendship, right? They were never friends. And that was, in my opinion, never Stormy's intention. And so now she's deflecting and trying to defend herself about that. But even most importantly, the, the biggest things that stand out to me as far as what points back to the heaviness um, and the, the heavy on disappointment is the alleged altercation between Martel and Ariane or the noise violation that, and even here more recently, where you have a Marceau Scott in court with a gentleman by the name of Mr. Smith, Marceau's going to court to claim property, allegedly, back from Mr. Smith that Marceau allegedly lost years ago due to his non-payment of taxes for several years. I think it was about three years of not paying taxes on top of the fact that the people in the community wanted to have that particular home demolished because it was deemed inhabitable. It was deemed an eyesore. The grass, they said, was just so high that there were rats running around on the land, on that plot of land, and that there were roaches actually crawling in and out of the trees on the land. Um, yes, this, all of this contributes to the heavy on the show or the heaviness of the show because it puts a dark cloud over the castmates as it pertains to their characteristics. And another thing to me that kind of stands out is where Marceau sits Tisha down as the boss <laughs> of their company. I'm like, that was to me disappointing to see that happen. And she looks shocked and it'll be interesting to see how that plays out on the show. So what I'm trying to say here is that there's a lot of factors that um, parlay into the reasons why people have blacked the show out. And I really feel that it is in the best interest of production and Melody to sit down and really talk about how to move forward because there is, um, like I said, it's my description. It's, it's like a dark cloud hanging over the, the, hanging over some of the castmates as it pertains to their character because of what we've been seeing in the internet, what we've been seeing play out in real time. I mean, the court case, <laughs> I, that can't be denied, right? Uh, it happened allegedly, but people were there and they saw it and they witnessed it and they know what that case is about. That does not look good for someone who's supposed to be a prominent multimillionaire um, businessman who's working to revitalize the city of Huntsville. And I still don't understand how Holt, Skolt, I'm sorry, Skolt Industries is doing that, um, even with the hotel being built. Um, but anyway, that's my two cent on what's going on as far as the ratings. 
I will be watching the show tonight. I know Melody said that it is lighter. It's been lighter for her. But I also know that she's been very intentional about how she moves. So when things get heavy, she's out of there. She's not going to hang around and sit there. I'm glad to see that she's at that place where she can just walk away and where her peace is more important than going back and forth with someone or staying in a situation where it is dark and where it is volatile. And we kind of see that, I think, at the little... um sneak peek we saw of the ladies at the little spa session we saw them getting up and walking out or a couple of them and <clears throat> so anyway i will be there tonight because i do know that there's those subscribers who have blacked out the show and who will only listen to us vloggers as we give our commentary so anyway you guys enjoy the rest of your saturday i will be commenting on the episode that airs tonight, it won't be tonight. It may be tomorrow, but it will not be later than Monday for sure. You guys enjoy the rest of your day. Hit that like button on your way out if you haven't done so on your way in. Subscribe to the channel and hit the notification bell. Until then, ciao.